What is up folks, how's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're gonna to be doing a first look and overview of the RTX 3060. Now we have the MSI version of the card. This is called the Gaming X Trio. It has a triple 90 millimeter fan configuration and a very beefy overall heatsink. And overall the card is massive, but it does fit into an ITX form factor case like what we have over here. Now we've managed to do some synthetic benchmarks as well as some real world gaming uh, tests to determine how the overall performance is. And we're gonna be directly comparing the card against the 3060 Ti. This is the, the Zotec Twin Edge OC version of the card so we can kind of have some sort of comparison uh, to see how the 3060 Ti compares against the standard 3060. And if you're interested, let's get right into it. Now first, let's talk about the general specifications of the RTX 3060. In terms of CUDA cores, we have 3584 units compared to 4864 units on the TI version of the card. Boost clock, you're looking about faster speeds on the 3060, about 1852 megahertz versus 1695 megahertz on the TI version. Now in terms of memory, like the previous generation, we actually have a more capacity at 12 gigabytes versus eight gigabytes of GDDR6 and a smaller memory bus of 192 bits on the standard 3060 versus 256 bit bus on the TI version of the card. But we do have a greater memory speed of 15 gigabits a second versus 14 gigabits a second. And in terms of power, the TI version does require more. It's rated at 200 watts TDP versus 170 watts on the RTX 3060. Now with the Gaming X Trio, MSI has beefed up the RTX 3060 to the max. You actually need two eight pin power power connections to power the GPU and in combination with the Trifrozer 2 as well as the Torx Fan 4.0 system you probably have the largest heatsink slash fan combination you're going to find on an RTX card in this category which means that if you're planning on overclocking the 3060 this is probably an ideal card to get not to mention the acoustic benefits of having a larger heatsink and more fans to cool your GPU. Now, what's interesting about the Torx fan design is that if you look real close, you can see that pairs of the fan blades are actually linked together by this outer ring. This design is supposed to maximize airflow through the heatsink, and the heatsink itself is super large and beefy, so you have a lot of heat dissipation surface area, not to mention built-in deflectors so the air moves efficiently and quickly throughout the system. You also have five large heat pipes that run through the sink, and the GPU makes direct contact with precision machine core pipes with an extremely flat surface area. That way you have the maximum amount of coverage from the GPU to the heatsink. At the back, you have a composite graphene backplate, which ensures the card stays extremely rigid and strong during installation. And it also aids in dissipating the heat at the back of the car. Some other features about the card include a custom PCB that has embedded fuses, which provide additional safeguards against electrical damage. You also have a bundled support bracket that you can attach to your PC case for additional card reinforcement enforcement and very subtle RGB lighting effects on the front and side of the card which you can fully customize and program within MSI's software suite. Now moving right along let's finally get into our benchmark results first starting with our synthetic benchmarks. First up is 3 Marks Time Spy Extreme. On the 3060 we got 4100 points on the overall score versus 5600 points on the TI version of the card. Next we ran Port Royal also from 3 Mark. We got around 4799 points on the the 3060 versus 6,800 points on the TI version of the card. And last, we ran Unigine's Super Positioning Benchmark, and at 4K optimized settings, we got around 6,500 points on the 3060 versus 9,500 points on the 3060 Ti. Now, next, we're going to take a look at some real-world gaming benchmark examples using Fraps. Basically, take a look at the average and minimum frames per second at two different resolutions: 1920 by 1080, as well as 30. 440 by 1440, a kind of ultra wide monitor resolution that I'm running right now. So we're going to be taking a look at three different games, Control, Cyberpunk, as well as Doom Eternal. So let's get right into it.
but really on that guys that's really it now in terms of comparing the 3060 compared to the ti version of the card i think you're looking at about a 15 to 20 percent performance bump up when you go with the ti version which is definitely cool in the sense that you're only paying around 100 to 80 dollars more typically in a normal world i know supply and demand issues with pricing is a little bit wonky uh, these days with all these gpu shortages but once that becomes normalized uh definitely interesting value proposition in the mid-range uh nvidia graphics card landscape now in terms of the benefit of the msi gaming x trio card definitely the cooler it's super beefy and it does a great job of dissipating heat thanks to that large heat sink and uh, for most of the time the fans are actually not on even when you're uh, gaming with it which is definitely a huge benefit if you want a quiet system uh, opposed to uh, a twin fan setup like what we have on the Zotec which is on uh, most of the time and since the card gets a lot more hotter the fans need to spool up a lot more and it's definitely the louder card in that sense now we're going to be doing some overclocking later on in the future using msi afterburner and uh, if you haven't done so already please make sure you have post notifications turned on to find out whether uh, this can get you a little bit more performance than what comes standard out of the box and we definitely want to thank msi for supplying us this review sample without uh, your support and their support this content will be possible and make sure you have post notifications turned on again and and subscribe if you haven't done so already either than that definitely love to know what you guys think is the best graphic card in the mid-range mark right now and we'll see you real soon in the future take care